The floorboards creak under your feet with every step you take. There's barely any light in this narrow hallway as small candles flicker on their sconces on the walls. The air is cold, damp, and deafeningly silent, save for the sound of your footsteps and every breath you take. As you open the door at the end of the hallway, you find yourself in a beautifully decorated room where there's an old wooden piano, majestic candelabra, and many portraits on each of the walls. Out of all the paintings you see, there is one that sends shivers down your spine. The face of this man is long, with piercing, deep-set eyes, long black hair, and a mustache. He's wearing an imposing crown on his head. What is it about this man that's so strange and frightening? Are you sure you want to know? Welcome to Bran Castle, an architectural jewel hidden in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania. Or, as you might know it from its more popular name, Dracula's Castle. Though, by all accounts, Vlad III of Wallachia was indeed quite a special kind of ruler, not all the things that were attributed to him were actually true. For example, he never actually lived here in this castle. But his true legacy was what inspired the British author Bram Stoker to create the now famous character Dracula in his book of the same name, published in 1897. Safe to say, Stoker might have gone a bit overboard with the story given that he never actually visited Bran Castle. Just to be clear, it's Bran Castle with an N and Bram Stoker with an M. Odd coincidence, I'm sure. This building, however, remains to this day a source of intrigue and mystery for tourists. Coming from all over the world to see intriguing things like a secret passageway that used to be hidden behind a fireplace. Speaking of intriguing, Larna Castle in New Zealand has an equally spooky vibe to it. To say nothing of its architectural beauty, legend says that the initial owner, named William Larna, built a 3,000 square foot ballroom here for his favorite daughter Kate on her 21st birthday. Visitors here have experienced all sorts of weird phenomena. So much so that the building was once even visited by special paranormal investigators. Some castles have such a frightening atmosphere, they even make it to the big screen. Like Castle Loma, located in Toronto, Canada. It is a gothic style castle that was featured in at least four Hollywood movies. Sure, that's partly due to the wonderful architecture there, but there's also years worth of reported unusual sightings in the area, which add to the mystery. Berg Elz, a castle located in Germany that dates back to 1157, also made our list of enigmatic buildings. It has only a limited number of rooms that are available for the public, but out of all of them, there is one that generates a lot of buzz between tourists. It is the bedroom of Countess Agnes, who lived here in the 15th century. Her bed and part of her attire are still on display in the room. This castle has been used as an important landmark in various video games because of its particular style, which looks more like a fortress. Also in Germany, there's an interesting construction named Frankenstein Castle. That's right, it's the palace that inspired Mary Shelley's renowned novel of the same name. And more than that, a lot of Gothic and Romantic literature at the time. The name comes from the ancient Germanic tribe called the Franks and Stein, which is German for stone, a common German naming convention. About an hour north of Prague in the Czech Republic, there is a castle that's interesting to say the least. It has no kitchen, no fortifications, and legend says that at the time that it was finished building, nobody wanted to live there. That's probably because Hauska Castle is built on top of a very large hole in the ground, which according to legend is bottomless. Maybe, who knows? Japan has a mysterious castle of its own 
called Himeji Castle that dates all the way back to the year 1333. It's one of the best remaining samples of feudal Japanese architecture, featuring many of its classic staples, like its use of wood and multiple sliding doors. The castle is deeply connected to local folklore, specifically to the story of Okiku, a girl that was falsely accused of losing some valuable dishes and was punished for it, but now haunts the castle as a spirit seeking. Vengeance. The Castle of Good Hope in South Africa doesn't inspire a lot of hope in its visitors, despite its name. Maybe because it supposedly features a bell that rings by itself? Or perhaps because lights there often switch on and off by themselves, too? I guess we'll never know. Have you ever heard the Italian legend about a little girl with blue hair? Then you might have heard about the enticing Montebello Castle, north of Milan. The story says her mother used to dye her hair with various herbs that gave that particular shade of blue to her hair. Because of her looks, she was nicknamed Azzurina, as Azzurro means light blue in Italian. It is also said that she wasn't allowed to ever leave the castle and was always under constant supervision of her parents and castle guards. Who knows, she might still be there to this day. Now, if you're looking to actually stay in one of these chilling castles, you may want to consider Castle Rezel, located in the city of the same name in Poland. Since it's now being used as a hotel, it attracts a lot of tourists looking for that magical, regal experience. Just make sure to book a room as far away from the former dungeons as possible. Just say. This one you've probably already heard of, and maybe even visited, since it's one of the most famous British landmarks, the Tower of London. Because throughout its history, which dates back to the 11th century, this construction was used for a lot of different things, from royal residencies to prisons, it is indeed associated with a lot of unusual happenings. One of the most notable stories is that of the famous Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry the Eighth, and mother of Elizabeth the First. A tale of tragedy in the face of political intrigue. Coningsboro Castle in South Yorkshire is an equally impressive structure, sporting a beautiful view over South Yorkshire itself. Don't be fooled by the magnificent sightings though, as many visitors have reported getting the feeling of strange gusts of wind blowing by them every now and then. For all you dog lovers out there, Norway has a castle especially for you. Akershus Castle was built around the year 1300, and its most fascinating story is that of a magical dog named Malkanizu that was said to have guarded the gates of the castle, so much so that people could hardly ever approach its grounds. This next one has to be one of the most beautiful castles in the world and you've surely seen it in posters, on TV, and maybe even on Instagram. Mont Saint-Michel is located on an island off the coast of Normandy and was built in the 8th century. It's not only a masterpiece because of its location and architecture, but it's also an important symbol of French history. However, people don't just come here to marvel at its beauty. They come to find out for themselves about the many strange rumors that is cultivated over the years. If you want to visit this one though, it's a bit tricky. The whole structure is built on a shallow bay that floods with water in the high tide and recedes on the low. These tides alternate roughly once every six hours, so you need to plan your visit carefully if you don't want to end up stranded for hours. The Slovenian fortress Predjava is not only renowned for its spook factor, but it's also part of the Guinness Book of Records as the largest cave castle in the world. It has stood proud in the middle of a 403 foot high cliff for the past 800 years. Talk about adding suspense. Apart from its obviously unique location, it's also famous for the various secret tunnels that were built to provide safe passage in and out of the castle. It's also home to a colony of bats you know, lots of people are afraid of them, but they're actually very sweet. Another one of those places that you can actually book a room in 
is Dalosi Castle in Scotland. Its spooky rooms, walls, and corridors tell the myth of a tragic love story between a girl named Lady Catherine and a stable boy. A woeful tale that sounds like it comes straight out of a romance novel. Despite its reputation, the hotel is quite a popular destination for weddings. At many of these events, people have reported seeing strange silhouettes in their wedding photos. Still, it looks like a lovely venue to book an event. If you don't mind strangers showing up in your pictures, of course. Art castles truly fascinating. Not only are they just beautiful to look at, both inside and out, but they provide such a timeless glimpse into the history of ages long past. Of course, with all the rumors of ghosts and hauntings, it's hard to tell what is true and what isn't. But I like to think that the prevalence of these rumors speaks to the very human spirit of curiosity that's inside all of us. The desire to learn and to explore. And that, in and of itself, is truly special. Be sure to stay curious and watch your step. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.